your students will correctly spell the word presidential. And that's hardly a first grade word. It's, um, but how do we get to presidential, you ask? Well, that comes from the IDE family. Because if I'm going to be teaching the word hide, I'm surely going to be teaching the word ride. And if I can teach the word ride, why not bride? You know, that's in a first grader's vocabulary. And if it isn't, it should be. And if we can teach those words, we certainly should be able to teach side and besides, that's not very difficult. And if we can teach side, we can teach reside. Oh, and if you can teach reside, why not preside? And of course, the day after we teach reside, we'll have resides. Day after that, they'll have resided. Oh, that might even be vocabulary. Gee, I think it's all right to teach vocabulary, don't you? Residing. We might even teach resident. Ah, now we begin to see, ah, uh, resident, president, hmm, reside, preside, oh, they all build up, and it's not too far to go to get the IAL residential, and a P for presidential. This building is building on patterns, and this is what makes Sequential spelling different from all spelling programs. And this is why it works and why Sunlight Curriculum is now carrying sequential spelling as part of their package. I thank you. Mm -hmm.